And hello good people of the internet, it is I, Tommy Kelly, and this is Adventures in Woo Woo. And in this episode, what I thought I would do is um, talk a bit about some books that I think people starting off on magic should probably read. And even if you have been on the magic kind of trail for a while, you mightn't have read some of these. Um, I did a video a while back about this, and it's got horrible sound, and a horrible angle, and really bad music in it. But it was quite popular. Um, and so I thought I would do another one, but I didn't watch the other video So it'll be interesting to see if I recommend the same books. I know a couple of them. I definitely haven't but uh, let's get into this so Your very first book on magic um, I think should give you a good overall kind of sense of what magic is particularly um, If you've never you know, you don't really know what it is and you're kind of trying to work it out Is it Harry Potter? Is it you know new age? Is it psychological tricks or whatever and the one I always recommend the very first book is Advanced Magic for Beginners by Alan Chapman and uh, I think it covers an awful lot of stuff it covers it's definitely a chaos magic book uh, and it covers an awful lot of ideas tells you about sigils tells you about um, different approaches and about you know sympathetic magic and it did a few ideas because into like 2012 stuff at the end and there's other stuff in as well that may or may not be dated depending on what way you want to look at it but I think overall is um, a good candidate for your first magic book so next we have The Chaos Protocols by Gordon White, who is of course from RuneSoup. And what I was just like, I definitely want to recommend uh, Gordon White to use, but I'm not even sure The Chaos Protocols is the best way to start with him. What I would suggest is going to the runesoup.com, digging into some of his blogs there, or just go straight into the podcast. Um, he definitely did his work on sigils and um, you know on shoaling and the robo fish and all that are wonderful ideas and you know definitely they're here to stay and all that. But Chaos, Chaos Protocol is quite good as is Pieces of Eight, which has an amazing cover. Whoever drew the cover for uh, Pieces of Eight must be a very handsome chap. Um, next, I will say Liber Null by Peter J. Carroll. Now this comes with caveats. I did a whole study group about this on the Patreon where I read through it and discussed it and stuff like that and I have uh, any number of opinions about it I got quite exasperated by it at different times and um, for a book that purports to get rid of an awful lot of dogma it inserts an awful lot of dogma as well and has a very kind of um, it has its own opinions that it takes seriously and discounts a lot of stuff that maybe shouldn't be discounted but uh, and even Pete, Pete Carroll himself doesn't rate it as uh, as the book that it's probably touted as but it's still as a first kind of book it's probably something you should expose yourself to lots of the ideas that uh, are still in use are all in it and um, just take it all you know not again not as the word of god just with a grain of salt and have your own kind of view on things and stuff like that but without this book chaos magic in itself doesn't exist splat so the next book i'm going to definitely recommend to you all and this is for new people and people who've been around forever is um, John Higgs' KLF book. There you go, who are the KLF? I don't read a bi biography of the KLF. This is by far the most magic book I've ever read in my life. And um, if you like the kind of Grant Morrison disinfo lecture, or you like listening to him and you get that kind of uh, feel of wanting to do magic or really get into it, this book has, does exactly the same thing to me. Um, myself and Spud did a whole podcast about it, so I won't go too much into it. Um, so you can check that out if you want. I'll put the link in the show description. But it's practical magic, very chaos magic, very discordian, very trying to inject chaos into the world and uh, shape things by doing weird things. Uh, it's a wonderful book and I really couldn't recommend it enough. Next one I'm going to recommend is Reality Transurfing by Vadim Zeeland. Myself and Spud go on about this a lot. I won't drop that quite in the floor because that'll make a loud bag. Um, we talk about this a lot on the podcast as Spud has become kind of more or less obsessed with it and he came from like a very much reductionist materialist skeptical background and over the last couple of years because I've been annoying him has become a bit more woo in fact he's, he's nearly full woo I would say at this point but reality transurfing is kind of I hate this expression but it, we all know what we'll do it it's like the law of attraction on steroids uh, forgive me for that but um it's a lot of things that annoy me about law of attraction is addressed in this book there's some very great kind of approaches different ideas and it's more than just law of attraction it's like multiple universes there's quantum physics thrown in there which you know you should run a mile normally when uh, any kind of spiritual new age person starts talking about quantum physics but um in this case it seems to work 
Um, highly recommend it if you're going to get into any kind of uh, thoughts or things or your you know belief kind of base kind of stuff like law of attraction or the secret any of that this is the one I would recommend uh, there's so many good ideas pendulums alone are just a wonderful idea and have like radically changed my approach and my view and my understanding of uh, life and interactions and all these type of things wonderful look what's your time um, from a kind of meditation element of things, there's two books I want to recommend. It's Daniel Ingram's Mastering the Core Teachings of the Buddha, which is a brilliant book. And if you get, are into meditation in any sense and you want to get deeper into it and want to, you know, kind of have like a, a roadmap of where meditation leads you, this is brilliant. The other one I want to mention is The Mind Illuminator. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it. Kaladasa who is John Yates, a PhD. And this is a book I read recently, which is very similar to Mastering the Core Teachings of the Buddha by Daniel Ingram, but has taken, in a sense, all of the kind of Buddhist dogma, not dogma, excuse me, terminology out of it, and has it more in kind of plain language. Very similar, has a couple of different ideas as well. Really, really good. Um, I highly recommend it. Next is two comics. And there's one obvious one and one not so obvious one, I suppose. And this is Injection by Warren Ellis and Declan Shelby and Jordi Bellow. Um, I actually know Declan. Or, oh, well, I used to know Declan. I haven't spoken to him in a number of years, so I don't know at what point that you uh, can still say you know people. Um, this is a fantastic book and uh, every bit as good, every bit as worthwhile to a magician or a person who has a magic outlook on the world as the obvious next book will be. Um, it's about taking something, uh, an idea, and injecting it into the world, only in this case, it kind of goes wrong. So it's kind of like the idea of creating a tulpa or a servitor, and the way we have this idea that there is a danger of it going awry and having its own kind of autonomy and sovereignty and wanting to do its own thing rather than the thing that it's programmed or you know made to do. And so that's what happens in this, and it's great, and the artwork is brilliant. And uh, you should get it. Now, the obvious one, The Invisibles by Grant Morrison. Um, I don't know if a lot more can be said about The Invisibles that hasn't already been said. We did do a book club on it. It's on the YouTube channel. You can check it out if you want to get into it. We only end up going through the first book of it, though, because people, I don't know, they kind of, if it waned the kind of uh, interest in it. And I find that with a couple of the book clubs I've done that people kind of start off really into it and then they kind of don't. But I'm going to go back to it and do more because um, Spud's rereading it at the minute. So we'll probably talk about it on the Tommy and Spud Talk About podcast. It's brilliant. Um, and it, uh, it's probably, if you're reading it now, it'll kind of come across a bit dated or as if all the ideas have been taken from other things. And it's essentially because everyone stole from it like the matrix has an awful lot from it any number of tv shows any number of comics and it's kind of it's it'll be interesting because if there's no tv show coming out about it but you see grant morrison saying it's not going to be a direct uh, adaptation of the thing it's going to be what the Invis invisibles would be if it kind of uh, um, emerged from idea space right now so i'm really looking forward to that but it's worth your while there's some brilliant ideas in it it's the thing that uh I kind of, it's the hyper sigil. It's the thing that made put the hyper sigil on the map. And I have a couple of videos on hyper sigils and stuff like that. So that's kind of it. I'll put all of these books in the show description, links to them and stuff. The, uh, there'll probably be affiliate links, which just basically means you buy them for the same price you always would. And I get like 10 cent or something if you do. Um, other books, I suppose the, there's plenty that you could go down. Like um, the Satanic Bible is always a good one if you're coming from a, you know, a kind of strict Christian background. Necronomicon is fun. I got it to work fairly, fairly well. Um, more of Pete Carroll's books. Phil Hine is always good. Ramsey Jukes is always worth your time. There's plenty. The Dean Radin book, Real Magic, is, is very good kind of primer as well. There's loads of decent books. Out of all of them, that I've just suggested, the one I would suggest that you get the most, the one that'll get really get you into magic and into that magic mode and that kind of feeling and that wanting to do stuff and uh, feeling that the world is very enchanted is the KLF book. So that's out of all of them is the one that I would recommend you, you get if you're only gonna get one. Or uh, if you haven't read it before, then I would definitely say read it. So, good people of the internet, that is uh, some suggestions of books that uh, you that I think you should uh, read. So in the comments below, 
can you please uh, give me some suggestions of books? Because I love buying books. It's my uh, absolute addiction and I'm uh, just not sorry for it anymore and I'm just going to indulge it. So if you can recommend me some books, magic, comics, anything you want, um, I will be very grateful. So until next time, be well.